You've been lied to. You've been stolen from. You've been cheated. You've been cheated on. Is there a way back from betrayal? This is Dr. Mark Goulston telling you, yes, there is. But it's not for the faint of heart. It involves the four H's and the four R's. When someone betrays you, what they trigger in you is hurt. You hate them for hurting you and taking away trust and safety. You're hesitant to trust them again and have them do it again. And you're going to hold on to a grudge. Hurt, hate, hesitant to trust, hold on to a grudge. What those four H's need are the four R's. What hurt needs is remorse. Remorse is not regret. Regret is, I'm sorry, uh, I was wrong, it won't happen again, can we move on? That's not only not satisfying to the person who's been betrayed, it is insulting and enraging. Remorse means looking into the other person's eyes and having that person who's very hesitant to show you this, have them show you that you broke something in them, that you broke something that will never be the same again. And they need to see you seeing that and that it matters to you, that it causes you pain and that you were wrong. And you need to keep looking at that so they believe that what you did causes you pain, not just regret. They hate you for what you did. The second R is they need some form of restitution, some sort of payback. Uh, when you betrayed them, you took something away from them and you have to give something back. Sometimes that's a check. Sometimes that's a lot of money. It has to hurt you what you give. You can't have your betrayal and cake and eat it too. Sometimes what it means is the person you've betrayed gets to vent verbally about what you did to them. Many people who feel betrayed, what upsets them most is they believed your lies instead of their instincts. When their instincts were telling you that you were lying, but you reassured them it was just their imagination, they they gave up on what their gut was telling them, and many people will not go back to giving up on their instincts after you've done that to them. So the second H, hatred, needs restitution. The third H, hesitation to trust you again, needs rehabilitation. And by rehabilitation, it means you need to find a new way of dealing with stress and situations other than by lying, cheating, stealing, or acting out or for that matter, getting angry, shut down. You need a new, healthy way of dealing with, stress, with stressful situations, and you have to like what you've learned. If you do it just to appease the other person, it won't work, it's not sincere, it will not last. So your new way of dealing with stress in a healthy way has to be something that you like for them to believe it. The fourth H, they're holding on to a grudge, requires the fourth R. After you've practiced remorse, restitution, and rehabilitation for a minimum of six months, minimum of six months, until you've internalized it into your personality, the fourth R is you get to request forgiveness. Now, since you can't change what you've done, you have earned forgiveness through practicing remorse, restitution, rehabilitation, and you can't do anything more. And what's interesting, if when you ask for forgiveness, they do not give it to you, and if you're not an evil person who shouldn't be forgiven, I tell people, cut your losses with evil people. For everyone else who's just flawed, try to find a way to fix it and get back from it. So if after six months, you have earned their forgiveness and they can't give it to you, the problem switches to their being unforgiving. And often when I see a person like that who says, I just can't forgive him or her, what I'll ask them is, who did you learn that from? What parent did you learn that from who's unforgiving that you said you would never grow up to be like? And then the light goes off and many of them get it. So yes, there is a way back from betrayal, and you can do it, but what, what will determine whether you do it or not is not whether it's important to you, 
but how much you care about doing it. Uh, uh, I, uh, health and exercise are important to me, but I don't care enough about them to do anything about it. So for this to work, it has to be not just important, but you have to care about it, but you can come back from betrayal.